Welcome to the warm-up today. We're at Waynesfield Goshen High School to talk Tiger football. I'm Mark Coons. Matt Finkel will join us momentarily. But right now, let's talk a little Waynesfield Goshen with the first-year head coach, Tyler Turner. And coach, back at home, 2006 Waynesfield Goshen grad. Uh, you know, just a few years ago, did you think you're going to be taking over the, the reins of the program? Uh, it, it was something I always wanted to do. Um, I didn't realize it was going to happen this soon, but I'm excited for the opportunity. I'm going to make the most of it. Obviously, the Tigers had some great teams under uh, Coach Gary Spencer, had uh, five playoff appearances just two years ago. Waynesfield Goshen was in the postseason, but coming off a 2-8 and eight record. And I, I think the Tigers are one of those programs where you look at and you go, wow, what has happened the last couple of years simply because there haven't been as many kids playing football. Yeah, numbers are down. Um, and then I think we kind of lost sight of the weight room a little bit. Um, so those are, um, well, at least the weight room is something that we uh, really – tried to get back up and running and we had some success in that this senior class is uh they're they're driven they want to do well uh two and eight you know did not sit well with them and it's not a representation of what they're capable of so um, we're expecting to be much better this year small school division seven obviously interestingly a lot of a couple of your players are also on the golf team so in the morning they golf in the afternoon they come out and instead of hitting little white balls they hit big white people yeah, they uh, actually had a match this morning, and they, they, they do well. So um, it's it's kind of different having to work around two sports, but uh, it's something I'm happy to do. So, Coach, what can we expect out of a, a Waynesfield Goshen football team led by you? Um, you, you know, the, the big thing is discipline, consistency. Um, not to say that we didn't have that last year, um, but those are two of, of the things I would like to improve this year. Um, and even if it's just little things, um, our offense stalled a lot last year. Our defense was on the field quite a bit, and um, I truly believe defense wins championships. We have to uh, have a solid defense, but we also have to help them out, put some drives together, and be more consistent on both sides of the ball. Schematically, what can we expect offensively? Uh, you're going to get a, a spread wing tee. Um, we're going to start off pretty basic, but we we have uh, all of our playbook in, well, or in right now. They've picked it up uh, quickly, so everything is on pace. Same thing for the defense? Uh, we're going to run a 5-3, which is pretty much what we ran last year, mm -hmm. tweak it a little bit. Um, but I think the big thing with our defense is just a year of growth, uh, a year to mature. Um, you know, last year, the, the, you know, when we opened open up with Delphus Jefferson last year, that was kind of the first playing time a lot of our defense had ever seen. So, um, you know, a year of growth, they're not uh, intimidated by anyone they're ready to hit this year. So you're going to see us be more aggressive. Your first year as head coach, but you look at your coaching staff and you got a wealth of experience helping you out. Yeah, I, uh, um, you know, I was fortunate enough to play under Ernie Simpson um, when I was here at Waynesfield in 2004, I think, is when he came. Um, so it was kind of a no-brainer when I was looking at assistant coaches, a guy that has uh, almost, well, this might be his 50th year right. of coaching football. Um, Scott Gray has been with the program for. Uh, well, in coaching for 14 years, I think. Um, and then we have another new guy, Dan Ferrelia, um, who, who is new to coaching but did play some college ball. And, and in my opinion, he's, he's worth his weight in gold. So. Obviously, you're a younger guy. you got some older guys on your staff. Is that, is that a good mix between youth and experience and relating to today's kids but also having that experience? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there, there are definitely things that I didn't see coming as a head coach that uh, Ernie can help me with, but uh, I think we're also set up to uh, be successful in the future as well. First game of the season, as you mentioned, Delphus Jefferson. Here in Waynesfield, you're taking on the Jeff Cats this year. A couple of weeks before that game, what do you guys need to work on the most between now and then? Um, we still have a lot of question marks on the on the offensive and defensive line. Um, our backs are picking up the offense really quick, and, and the uh, the line that we have, they, they know exactly what's going on. Um, but we finally have some, I guess, position battles this year, which is a great thing. So um, I guess before they come, we have to pick some starters, <laughs> and, and that uh, um, who that will be is not very evident yet. Week two, another home game as Harden Northern comes back on the schedule. Polar Bears, similar to Waynesfield Goshen, a, a great tradition, but have fallen on hard times just because of the numbers. I, I think this is probably a matchup a lot of people are looking forward to to, to see where you two programs are, are against each other. Yeah, I think we'll match up with them well. Um, Number-wise, I, I think they're right where we're at, um, and, and they're coming into the league in the future, so I'm excited to see what they have and, and how, we, uh, how we do against those guys. You've talked about how you want the Tigers to be more disciplined this year. What are your other goals for your team in your first season? 
Well, I, I think, you know, coming off of a 2-8 season, um, you might not think playoffs, but, you know, if, if we can be competitive in the league and, and kind of close the gap on uh, Fort Laramie and, and Sidney Lehman and those guys, I think whoever wins this league should easily get a berth in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, be competitive in the league is, is our upfront main goal and, and hopefully get to the playoffs as well. What are some of the things that you've tweaked uh, this season as this off season coming into your first year? Well, like we were talking before, um, I, I think we had kind of lost sight in the winter weight program. So um, that was something that we really focused hard on. Um, built things like leadership teams um, and, and tried to get some football involvement all year round, whether that be, uh, you know, through community service projects that we've done and things like that. Um, and, and then coming out on the field here, um, you know, running a new offense, it, 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 we, we've kind of set up our practices with more consistency, uh, a lot more repetition and things like that. So uh, we're really trying to step up the learning aspect of the game as well. You mentioned community service. I know talking to some of your guys earlier, the, you're, you're trying to build men here both on and off the field. What are some of the other ways you're really trying to, to make these, these young boys into men? Well, I guess that's kind of why I like teaching where I coach. Uh, I, I see that classroom aspect of, of um, their lives as well. So I enjoy that. I can hold them accountable on the field and in the classroom. So, uh, yeah, they, they don't really catch a break. <laughs> well, we're going to need to catch a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, Matt Finkel will join us. More on the Tigers here in W. Welcome back to the warm-up here in Waynesfield, joined now by three Tiger seniors. Right to my left is Brandon Bly, senior tight end, defensive end. In the middle, it's Lake Turner. He's the quarterback free safety on this team, and Lucas Gray on the end, linebacker guard. Brandon, we'll start with you. Your senior season, and last year was a year of, of growth for this team and you personally. How did you use your junior season to prepare you for this year? Uh, it gave me a lot more playing time and a lot more different looks with not everybody being at the position they desired to be at. We we really grew as a team and got closer to another, and we learned more about football. And this year, I think we're bringing a lot more experience back and a lot more varsity guys that are ready to play. Yeah, like it's a senior-laden team. What do you think that brings to this to this squad, knowing that it's it's a lot of older guys who have had some time to play at the varsity level? Uh, with 10 seniors this year, there's a, there's a lot more experience than there was on the team last year. Um, there was only two seniors last year, but now having all, all of this there's, brings a lot more experience to the field of what we're trying to get done. Lucas, what have you seen out of first-year head coach, uh, Coach Turner? What do you like about training camp under him so far? Uh, he's brought a lot of uh, intensity to practice that we didn't have so much last year. Uh, it helps with 10 seniors on the team, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Brandon, he's really uh, preaching discipline and consistency. How have you seen that take shape here in, into camp? He, uh, he really pushed the weight room, and he shows that if you hit the weight room hard, that you, it'll pay off on the field. And he's really said that you will see the field a lot more if you, push, if, if you hit the weight room. So that and discipline as in know your role on the team and get it done. Otherwise, there's going to be consequences. And, you, we've seen it already, so there's a lot more. That brings intensity and a new attitude to Tiger football, I think. Absolutely. Lake, you're a two-sport athlete in the fall. Came off the golf course this morning. How do you juggle both uh, both sports, and which one do you like better? Uh, definitely football with the, as a team sport, but I like to golf, too, in the mornings. Um, golf in the morning and football in the afternoon, just um, get it both Sounds done. like a pretty great day to me. Yeah, I would love is. to be able to it do is. that. Lucas, you're on the golf team as well? Uh, yes, I am. And do you enjoy getting out to uh, play a little solo game before you hit the team sport? Oh, yeah. It gets me, uh, it gets me woke up for uh, evening practices. Brandon, you guys have four road games on the year. That's it. What do you think that additional home game will do for you and, and being able to play here in Waynesfield? It's nice as a senior to finish off with more home games than away games. Um, I think it'll be nice spending more time at home. We spent, we seemed to spend a lot of time on the road last year, so hopefully we can get the community and everybody just fired up about Tiger football this year. And Lake, quickly, what are you uh, looking out of the opener against uh, Jefferson? That should be a good game, and I know last year was a, good, a big game for you guys and coming up on the opener in just a couple weeks here. 
Um, yeah, they're they're coming to our place this year. Um, we really showed up in the first quarter down there, but then uh, it really went downhill after that. But I think they'll be in for a surprise this year. Tigers looking forward to that opener against Jefferson. Time for a break on the warm-up. When we come back, three more Tigers will sit down here to have a chat with me. Third down here on the warm-up from Waynesfield, and we've got three more Tigers joining me now. It is Luke Hall right here to my left, running back linebacker, James Elliott in the middle. He's also a running back and linebacker. Brandon Turner on the end, wide receiver, linebacker. Guys, talked about it a little with the other guys. Year of growth for you. How have you seen training camp come along, Luke? Uh, really, it's nice to see us get out and work a lot harder than I'd say last year and really hitting the weights and coming to practice about almost every day and running. It just really seems to benefit you on and off the field. Without a doubt, James. Coach really stressed that winter weight program. How did the uh, off season go for you, and are you seeing it pay off here in camp? Uh, definitely. Uh, we've seen a lot of people in the weight room this winter, and uh, it's helped us a lot. Brandon, playing in the NWCC, any particular games on the schedule you're looking forward to? Maybe a rival? Uh, Perry and Upper, like always. Uh, those are always our two biggest rivals. Uh, I think they look forward to playing us, and we look forward to playing them. So. Perry, you can see, take on Waynesfield Goshen right here in Waynesfield on week six here on WOSN. Guys, on the defensive side of the ball, Luke, we'll start with you. You play uh, cornerback. What can we expect? I know Coach wanted to stress uh, the defensive side of the ball and make sure you guys were short up there. Uh, really, first and foremost, you want to stop the run. But being at corner, you know, you want to be very good at secondary just because, you know, they can throw the ball over you. And really, you don't want that to happen. You want to be able to stop them both ways. James, a little fewer numbers out here than some other teams in the conference. What are you doing to help make to prepare yourself to make sure that you can play straight through the fourth quarters without being winded? Um, conditioning mostly, and then we have uh, we work hard during practices and get us ready for it. Brandon, what would you say the strength of this year's team is? Uh, our speed. Um, we got a lot of speed this year. Uh, we still learn how to utilize it a little bit, but I think our speed is we got good speed this year. And Luke, what, what's a team goal? Two and eight last season, uh, had a couple wins in the middle, but what are you looking to get out of the 2014 season? Definitely a league title. In the NWCC. First and foremost. That's a great goal to have. What about for you, James? Team goal, personal goal maybe for the um, season? Uh, same as Luke, basically. Um, get more wins than last year in league title for sure. And Brandon, what's one area you would see You'd like to see the team make some improvements before week one. Um, I don't know. Our, uh, yeah, we still got some kids that don't know all the plays yet. Um, I think we need to hit the playbook a little harder and study a little more. I think that'd be our main goal. Oh, a week into camp, they should have some time to do that before the opener against Jefferson on the 29th. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm up. Thank you to all of our guests and to Coach Tyler Turner. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.